हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू एसआरएस दिस इज सिमुलेशन डिले वीएसडीएल एंड दिस इज द डायग्राम आई हैव ड्रॉन वी आर डिस्कसिंग सिमुलेशन डिले एज देयर आर टू गेट्स देयर आर थ्री गेट्स एक्चुअली नॉट गेट नैंड गेट एंड एंड गेट सो वी आर कंसीडरिंग एंड एंड नैंड इफ दिस वर्क्स फर्स्ट और इफ दिस वर्क्स फर्स्ट then there is a difference and that is what is causing this simulation delay if nand is a faster logic a faster gate than and then there is a difference in the output not output means a delay in the output and if and is fast faster than nand then there also is a different type of output that is originates at different time so that leads to simulation delays so i am considering this guy with this example where a is uh, for long time it is one logic one and suddenly it is occurring that is it is uh, going through uh, zero part that is from one to zero it is making a transition so earlier uh, for a long time it is at logic one uh, beta is at logic zero and uh, this is one so zero dot one is zero and that is inverted as one so this is one This is for long time. It is zero. So there is no flop. So this deep flip flop is not working. Okay. Now what happens is suddenly uh, A transits from one to zero. Now this has transited to zero. So obviously B will have the transmission transition from zero to one. Now as this is the new output, new B. So This is available layer one, and this is also available at the input. Now, if uh, and is working first, that is faster. And logic is working faster. So this one will be considered first, and this and uh, will consider one later. So we'll start. That is uh, at the first logic. It will uh, go on step by step. That is a is made. From one to zero. So first of all, B is executed. That is, B becomes one, and uh, then as and is uh, first, so and works with input B equal to one, and the earlier output that is C equal to one. as this has not changed yet because this is working faster so c uh, sorry d will be equal to 1.1 .1, that is equal to 1 now now this nand will work with one input as 1 and another input that is b equal to 1 so the output That is C will be one dot one. That is one. That is will be zero. And as the output has changed, so and will again work. That is and with input now one and that is B equal to one and C equal to zero. It will work again and give the output as B equal to zero. so this will stay so this is as both of the gates have worked so this will stay as zero now if we go by the another logic that is if nand is working faster then and then what will happen then what will happen i'll name the steps 1 2 3 4 5 6th Seven. So in seven states, it is reaching the final um, stable state that is equal to zero. Now, if NAND is working faster, now what will happen is B obviously will become one. Then instead of AND, NAND will work. So NAND it will work with B equal to one and one. This is one. So output that is C will become 
1, 1, 1 dot 1 is 1 inverted as 0. Now as this has changed that is c is equal to 0. So and b equal to 1. So now and will work that is and with input b as 1 and c as 0 and it will give us the result as b equal to 0 and this will stay stable because NAND and AND both have been calculated. So this is the difference that is two states are less when we consider NAND and when we consider AND. There is a difference in the uh, output that is why it is known as simulation delay. It is based on simulation. In the simulation process if this is working fast than this then there will be then there will be a delay. If this is working faster than this there will be a lesser amount of time taken to give the output. To remove this or not to remove actually to uh, get a stable uh, output all the time uh, we introduce delta delay that is uh, calculation of all the gates at each delta. So now we will start delta delay. Delta delay. What is delta delay is uh, we are dividing our time let it be in uh, 4 delta 5 delta. So and then our next 10 second that is 20th nanosecond will start. Again it will be divided into deltas. What happens in this delta is What happens in this delta is, see, um, inverter, first in first delta, the basic that is inverter is calculated, uh, execute inverter, that is V will become 1. In the second delta, as there are two gates, NAND can work fast or AND can work fast. So both of the gates are executed. What with whatever be the input available, both of them are executed. And with inputs, that is 1 and 1, B equal to 1 and C equal to 1, and NAND also with B equal to 1 and 1. So give us the result that is this will give us the result B1 and this will give us the result as C as 0. In delta delay as there are two gates, we will again consider NAND and AND. AND and NAND. That is again with, if it is changing or not, it will obviously come under consideration. B equal to 1 and C that has become 0, that has become 0 um, due to NAND operation. So now, B will become 0 and NAND again with B equal to 1 and C equal to 1, C will stay at 0. And at the fourth delta, the output D is established as 0. So, this is what is delta delay means. It is not required if some other gates are also there, then the another remaining delta will also be considered. It will be divided into 5 delta or 6 delta depending on the condition. So this is uh, delays or delta delays uh, for VSDL. Uh, we will start with uh, what uh, your doubts from the next class. Thank you. Consider subscribing.